shoes. Endless snake skins, poor old crocodile skin. <laughs> What I'm looking for isn't here. Apparently, it's found on the outskirts of the city, on a rather unusual road. This may look like a timber yard, but all these products are sold to Sudanese women to make them look beautiful and smell good for their men. We're not talking pedicures, manicures, or facials here. This treatment, called a dukan, requires women to sit over a small pile of burning wood. It's a ceremony where women preparing to be brides are smoked. Little bits of wood, you select your wood, and you have some sort of oils or perfumes or things like that and you sit on this and start naked you're butt naked it's like being Joan of Arc going out to choose which wood to be burnt on in a pile it's going to be such fun it's going to be lovely it's like sort of a spa treatment hey I'm so lucky Given that this is such a secret, it's been difficult to find someone to show us how a dukan works. But fortunately, local businesswoman Hanan Abbas has agreed to help. How oh, nice to see you, Hanan. Thank you for this. Well, it's my pleasure. Oh, thank you, Hanan. What we will do first, we will be choosing the best sort of wood yes. that we will use for you. I see. And do you know what type of wood it is? I'm not sure what it is called in English, but it is shaf and talih, and it grows wild. It grows wild? Yeah. We know the wood as acacia. Burning acacia for perfume has a long history. It's even mentioned in the Bible. But this one, what he's choosing is actually good. And he's giving us one of the best pieces. Shokran, thank you. Tamam. This is actually what they cover you with. Your head goes here, and then you are covered with this one. So you are more like a tent inside it. <laughs> How lovely. And this what will keep the whole smoke for the good of your body. Prada, fabulous. That's great. Do I have to get a seat or have you got a seat? No, we've got a seat. Presumably you just choose your shape. Yes. Sometimes if you've got a square bottom, this is the square bottom type. I or the one that is more comfortable for you. Yeah. How could this be comfortable for anybody? I have no idea, honestly. No. You see, they always come up with new ideas of how to do this, uh, how to make it more colorful, more comfortable and everything. But basically, at the end, it's... it's just a stool with a hole in it. Absolutely. Yeah, OK. Absolutely. Good. I have a feeling this one's not going to catch on, the square one. Brides-to-be have a dukan before their wedding day and then regularly during their married life. Assalamu alaikum. It's associated with sensuality and eroticism, as well as cleansing and smoothing a woman's skin. Brides do this, what, once a week or...? For, for brides before the wedding, yes. they do it daily. Every day? Every day they do it. And this is part of preparing the, uh, the wife for the wedding. Actually, in here, what we do is that we, we what we call lock the, the, the bride for a month at home. And she's not allowed to see her groom for at all. For a month. They can only talk over the phone, yes. if the family is sort of modern, yes. you see. But otherwise, no. And she, during this time, she's all, they prepare her for her husband, for her big day. Yes. And what does the bridegroom do? I don't think he does much. <laughs> Maybe he shaves. He just looks in the mirror and just goes, yeah, that's quite nice like that. <laughs> or Shame. maybe his that's friends okay. will take him for a sauna or something as a treat. So, no, he doesn't do a so lot. So she's prepared herself absolutely oh, wonderfully. Yes. Oh, yes. And there is something I have to tell you about Dukhar yeah. that you will not hear a lot. Yeah. It makes actually women a bit narrow. <laughs> that's very naughty of me to say. <laughs> I think we essential. should... <laughs> Essential that you've told me this. <laughs> so I shall be slim, bronzed, <laughs> fitter. <laughs> nah. yeah. Every time you do it, you swore, <laughs> Until you gradually begin to implode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, holy moly. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> As Hanan isn't married, she's never even had a Dukan. So she's brought me to her friend's house. Hello, Hello Sarah. Hello. How are you? Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Sarah Abo is married and has a Dukan once a week. I must tell you, Sarah, she's very excited about it. Yes. Are you ready for Yes, I hope so. I hope so. So, to make a Dukan. First, bury a pot in the backyard and surround with an attractive rush mat. Then place two pieces of acacia wood into the pot. and light with smoldering charcoal. Finally, place comfortable but slightly bristly seat over the smoking wood. Come on, Joanna, are you ready? Oh, you look lovely. <laughs> this is the, um, the award ceremony dress when you're not gonna get a prize. You don't put out your hands, you just go along <laughs> looking nice at the top. <laughs> Shall I sit down now? Yes, you can yeah. sit. But you have to pull it up, yeah. A bit whispery. Then you have, we have to put some oil for you in your feet. For us, wedding is a very special occasion. Sometimes life is a little bit dry in the Sudan. Yes. So wedding is a very exciting season for everybody. And, and just assume yourself that today is your wedding. <laughs> Sorry. In fact, tomorrow is my wedding anniversary, so it's quite appropriate. I don't have a husband here, but I can dream. The finishing touch, a sandalwood burner. Sandalwood is thought to have relaxing, aphrodisiac qualities. I wish you could smell this through the lens. It's absolutely beautiful. This isn't just a beauty treatment. Many women have a Dukan a month after childbirth to heal the skin and relax their bodies. Well, I can't tell you how gorgeous I feel. I smell divine, absolutely <laughs> bewitched by this sweet scented kind of slightly woody, sandalwoody, but scented with other things. And I wish you could see how gorgeous I look underneath all this. If I lived in this country, because I'm a married woman, I would do that at least every week. I might become a bit obsessive. I might do it every day. I would smell lovely forever.